Zog by Julia Donaldson. Oops. There they are, they're looking at you. Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog the biggest dragon was the keenest one by far and tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madam Dragon, way up in the sky. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped to loop, then crashed into a tree. Look at his big crash. Then he heard his head. Just then a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky plaster for your head. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by. And in year two, the dragons learnt to roar. More, said Madam Dragon, louder I employ. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours on end. And then his throat grew hoarse. Just then the girl came by again and said, What rotten luck! Perhaps you'll like a nice smoothing peppermint to suck. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, and breathing flume, fumes of peppermint, he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year three, the dragons learnt to blow. No, said Madam Dragon, breathe out fire, not snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own, and you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might, and twirled around in triumph and his wingtip caught a light. Just then the girl came by again. She said, you poor old thing. Perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing. What a good idea, said Zog. Then off and up he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. In year four, dragons were learning how to guess. Yes, said Mother Dragon, how to capture a princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but he simply couldn't manage. I'm no good at this, he cried. I'll never win a golden star. Just then he saw the girl. Perhaps he said you'd like to capture me. I'm Princess Pearl. What a good idea, said Zog. Then off, on and up he flew, the princess gripping tightly as a zigzag through the blue. Ha, said Mother Dragon, our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zog, my dear. You've won a golden star. Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperature and nursed them when they fell. A year went by, and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Right, said Madam Dragon, here comes the real, here comes a real life knight. Up spoke the knight, my name, he said, is get about the great. I've come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't. She's mine, he roared. Oh no, she's not, said Get About and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all go a gong. Who is going to win the fight? So Get About or Zog. Then Princess Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop, you silly chumps. The world's already full far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing around the palace in a silly frilly dress. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Me too examined the knight and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. Perhaps princess you'll train me up, and Pearl replied. Of course, but I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Then Zog said, flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Bravo, said Mother Dragon, Madam Dragon, an excellent career. And all the five, year five dragons gave a loud resounding cheer. Then Madam Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and feed you lots of hay. 
What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew, the flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the blue.